My name is Joseph D'Ambrosi. I am the director of the Life is a Dream Project. I'm Julia Listengarten, and uh, with Martha Garcia, who's sitting next to me, we uh, uh, supervise um, the, the production process and uh, also serve as producers. And I'm Marta Garcia, and also I work on the adaptation and the person who wrote the adaptation for the 21st century. Life is a Dream is a play written by Calderón de la Barca, who is a 17th century Spanish Golden Age playwright. The play basically follows a man named Cez Mundo, who was imprisoned all of his life in this giant tower because his father, the King Basilio, basically said that he was not going to grow up to be a very nice guy. And because he is such a large follower of the stars and astrology, he basically decided Sesmundo's fate and locked him up in a tower. However, his guilt kind of gets to him and he basically says, well, we have to give Sesmundo his fair chance. So the play is all about the mishaps that happen when Sesmundo is allowed that second chance by Basilio. The adaptation is actually intended for a student population in Central Florida in the 21st century, plus the um, the Hispanic uh, speakers, the Spanish speakers who would like to come and enjoy enjoy this uh, performance. And even though the play was written in the 17th century, its themes are very contemporary. Um, uh, the play deals with issues concerning love uh, and forgiveness and uh, honor and uh, there's a philosophical uh, motif about uh, life and dream that life can be perceived as dream and so forth so uh, we hope that these themes will be accessible to contemporary audiences even though Joe and I are not Spanish speakers. Uh, we feel that it's such a privilege to be part of this process, which is truly multicultural and mm. truly interdisciplinary. Uh, Marta comes from uh, the Department of Modern Languages. We are uh, in a the theater department. Uh, Norley Garcia comes from music. Uh, she conducts uh, a flute ensemble, which is part of the production. So uh, this is a truly uh, interdisciplinary event, uh, and uh, uh, we, we, we are happy and proud that we ha have been able to uh, uh, create uh, this, this wonderful opportunity for our students and the audiences. The performance actually has been um, a, an important part to deliver the message. It's not only the linguistic part, but also the, uh, the act, the acting uh, component, which makes this project definitely appealing to more audiences. And at the same time, I mean, each of us brings to this project something unique mm -hmm. that makes this multicultural uh, experience complete. I also think that this project really proves that theater transcends language and culture, that theater is uniquely universal. And uh, even, even though there will probably be some audience members who don't speak Spanish, I hope that they, 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 they will uh, respond emotionally to uh, the performance, to what's what's happening on stage. Um, the communication often mm -hmm. is much more than just language, but we can tell stories through visual communication and just from that human experience and human interaction that only theater really can provide. <laughs> the Life is a Dream project opens on December 5th and will play only until December 6th, so you have two opportunities to come and see it. On the 5th, it's a Saturday, it will open at 8 p.m. and the Sunday performance on the 6th will open at 2 p.m. here on UCF's campus in the Black Box Theater. It is completely free, but you do need a ticket. So make sure you get your ticket or you can't come see the show. La Vida del Sueño se presentará en la Universidad de la Florida Central el sábado 5 de diciembre a las 8 de la noche y el domingo 6 de diciembre a las 2 de la tarde. La entrada es completamente gratis, pero se requiere que pidan su ticket, su billete para poder entrar. Los esperamos a todos y muchísimas gracias por dejarnos compartir nuestros sueños con ustedes.
Life is a dream. Life is a dream. La vida es sueño. <laughs>